Hello there YouTube. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at tips and tricks for beginners. Um, these tips and tricks will be able to show beginners how to work with the environment. Um, also help them to solve a couple of small problems I came across when I started programming. Um, so the first thing I would like to show is um, your handy little toolbox. When you're in the design view and you click on your toolbox you have all your controls. Okay. Um, you can obviously um, select your controls and use them as you want. But when you're in the code view, um, your toolbox is usually empty. So um, what you can do is you can right click on it, click add a tab, and you can actually write the my second code or whatever you want to name your tab. Okay? And um, what I've got here, I've got a button. And I've got three text boxes. So if I want to clear those text boxes, I could go and write the following code, for example, for each um, item as control in me.controls. Okay. If um, type of item equals or is a text box then item dot text equals string dot empty okay so um, this little section of code means that when I click on my button it should clear the items in my text boxes or every text box that's on the form so yes it works fine so I think okay cool this is um, actually a very nice section of code I would like to use it because I use it a lot um, I might to keep it handy and what I do is I stick down my toolbox I highlight my section of code and I just drag and drop it into my tab so whenever I need to uh, clear the items on my form all I need to do is I can see code if I hover over it, but I can just drag and drop it, and there's the code. Quite uh, simple, very easy. It's a nice section to do. Okay, the second thing I would like to point out is, um, or show you guys, is I've got two com uh, two drop down boxes, and um, if I write, for instance, me dot combo box one dot items add, um, and we're gonna add one I'm just going to copy and paste okay um, so here I have common box one items add one we're going to make that two we're going to make this three alright um, now I want to do the same with common box two okay but now I've copied and pasted combo box one's code. So how do I change combo box one to combo box two? Um, you can click and delete that and press two, or you can do something that's called box selecting. Okay, the box selecting works as follows: if I should click next to items and drag my mouse, you can see that it selects more than just the area. Okay, it selects all the text in between the start point and the end point. But if I should hold my control, I click, hold control and alt, and then move it, you can now see that it works in a box format. Alright? So I can literally take this and do whatever I want with it. Okay, it's quite easy and very handy, especially when you write lines and lines and lines of code. Um, very nice to work with. Okay? Um, another thing I would like to point out is um, power packs. I have a lot of pa uh, power packs. Um, I have the printing power pack. I have uh, the shapes, the line, oval shapes, rectangle, the data repeat I use a lot. Um, it's a very handy tool. Um, but the problem is when you start using power packs, or even um, I've got here the, the Abdo PDF reader. Um, even if I do that, if I want to use those controls, then those controls are not generally shipped 
when you publish your application okay so this control this oval shape here would cause my application to not even start up if that uh, if the user wants to install it so how do I change that well if you go to your test or your applications properties go to publish application files I can now see that my power packs is a pre-request okay and it's none excuse me I'm a bit fluey um, so what I can do is I can actually say it has to be included and it's a required item that means when my application is um, published then the power pack the DLL will actually be included in my project when it ships and it's a required item to install alright so my application will actually install the power pack for the user and therefore my application will be working fine okay very very nice very um, handy this um, another thing we uh, I want to look at quick is um, how to debug let's say for instance um, I have a line of code that's giving me problems um, let's go with this line of code I'm gonna go to nothing okay um, yes the line of code will actually work with nothing but I just want to say if I for instance don't know what the problem is if I run my application and it runs fine but if I press the button and there's a problem it doesn't work the way I expected it you can go and debug it and how you can debug it is for instance I can actually write the word stop and what this will do is it'll stop the application and you can now see that we have reached the stop sign okay and from here I can carry on debugging I can use my step into which now steps into um, my line of code I can step over it which means it will not read the in uh, the lines inside so I can actually read okay I know the section works fine I can skip right over it okay I can go back press the button and it goes back to stop and if I go into it you can now see that it runs three times because I have three boxes well actually five times because I'm um, yes that's it no more alright so um, the word stop actually stops your application and helps you debug from it there's another method you can do this if I take the stop out I'm gonna just actually stop the the running of it if I go into the side I have to have a line of code and if I go into the side and click on it it'll actually put a stop in there it's called a page break I mean a break and um, the break itself will stop it when we reach that line of code alright and then you can see again this is where we have to stop and then we can debug it from there read the code from there so that's quite handy as well um, when you start developing large amount of code and um, you know a certain section of code is fine but you haven't you know you, you've got a certain section that is not 100% um, okay um, that's it for this video I'm going to um, um, work on reporting on my next video so um, I hope I'll see you there if you like to subscribe you can subscribe any comments all welcome and I'll speak to you later cheers